Hello and welcome back to Classic Beauty Over 60. I'm Denise and I am getting ready to go to a meeting for the county commissioners in my area, uh, their candidates. And so um, I'm just going to go ahead and put a little makeup on and today the concentration is going to be on the lips. I'm going to contour those out and make them a little more plump. I uh, like to derma roll my lips um, and I uh, have another video on that, uh, on my derma rolling experience and and how I do my routine. Um, I like to derma roll just before I leave the house um, and then put on a plumping um, li a lipstick that will uh, plump that out even further. And that usually works. And so um, my, because my upper lip is, is a little bit thin. So, all right, uh, here we go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get ready normally. Um, for all of you that are new, um, welcome. And I hope this is something that's interesting to you. If it is, please like and subscribe. And uh, if you're returning, thanks for coming back. All right, let's get to it. All right, so I've never been to one of these meetings before not this kind and I actually heard that it can get a little raucous uh, so I've never this is a smaller town that I live in and I've never um, experienced any raucousness in in meetings but when I but when I uh, first moved to this area um, they seem to have that kind of going on. And this is not supposed to be political, so I'm glad for that because I don't want any of that. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. This meeting should be interesting. Like I said, I've never been to anything like this. Um, and we'll see if everybody, uh, how everybody, um, interacts with each other it should be interesting I'm kind of curious okay so that I just all I did was just put a very the age instant rewind on um, to cover my uh, dark circles I've got a few I'm just gonna use a little fluffy brush my infallible this is 24 hour fresh wear it's waterproof and um, I love it it's uh, it's it sticks with you because it's waterproof and it's you know thin enough to where it doesn't look cakey and I don't use a lot of it I've got my serums and my um, lotions on so uh, you have darker eyelids too so I'm gonna just kind of all those out hmm. uh, sat outside for a little while this weekend it was really nice the Sun is out I've never filmed in this kind of um, light before because the Sun's right in front of me so I'm gonna see if that's if that's even gonna work I, I don't see why not but I don't know today I think I'm going to um, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of stuff on I, I like the color of my nose it's a little red even though I wear sunscreen uh, it's still got a little red so I'm gonna wear this it's L'Oreal true match um, it's got the broad spectrum SPF um, 17. We'll talk about that another time. That is not going to help you at all. You really cannot count on your um, foundations, your uh, your makeup to supply the SPF that you would need to um, really protect your skin on your face or wherever you're going to apply this. You would need so much it would be ridiculous and you would hate the look so that's why you need to put it on first uh, in a 
in a separate type of an application with, you know, that it, sure, it's nice to have the little bit you do get with uh, the what they put in foundations, but you really need something all on its own as well, which my son uh, screen that I use, um, and you need like a quarter teaspoon of this, so you need quite a bit, but I like uh, the CeraVe, it's inexpensive, and um, it's got the, um, I think it's got hyaluronic acid and niacinamide, which is face smoothing and the hyaluronic is, you know, obviously plumping, but it's also got the SPF in it, which is great. So I like that. You just have to wait a minute. So, okay. So I put it on, I like this brush. It's huge. I didn't want to get this big of a brush, but that's all they had. Um, I'm also going to put this Lumi, L'Oreal Gloomy. Or no, it's not gloomy. It's Lumi Glotion, sorry. So, just a little bit of that. It's going to look like that. But before I put any of that on, I've got this e.l.f. It's pore minimizer. I'm going to use very little. And I mean like such a little amount. Because I have this terrible area. Right here, lots of pits and valleys. <laughs> right here, and this stuff goes, and, and, and this doesn't have any color in it, so, because I don't like to put any actual makeup um, on my forehead because I've got wrinkles there. So, I've never been on camera with my hair just uh kind of natural like it is right now i just got out of the shower and I, i'm not gonna do anything with it i'm not gonna blow dry it i'm not gonna do anything i don't feel like it all i've got is um a little bit of uh leave-in serum type stuff for it and uh, that's in one of my hairs. It's the Chi or Chi. I don't know how to pronounce it. So now that the sun's out, I want to see how this will wear. I mean, I don't think this this is going to be a very long um, meeting. So I don't know how long I'll be looking for it to see how long it's going to wear. But uh, like to see what the true match be is going to do for me because it's been a while since I wore that. I have been on my other videos, um, have been the, um, super stay. So, and then I'm going to take my Hula benefit. I need the one that I need more of. Just gonna chisel out my face a little bit. Sculpt out my neck, my chin, just a little bit. Look at the difference. I'll do a still on that so you can see that. favorite Milani. Boy, that is shiny. Uh, oh, odd. <laughs> okay. 
Where's the brush I thought I just had? Okay, oh no. So I'm gonna use a really fluffy brush for this because this has got a little gold in it. And um, I just wanna be a little bit of a light touch. A little bit on my nose. I kind of crunch it a little bit. Put it right up here. Now, I am going to go ahead and shave my lip. So, all right, so this is actually, they have it for an eyebrow um, brush. It's on the end of a spoolie, but it's really thin and color I'm going to use is going to be kind of a sable it's a little truffle and looks like that it looks like that you're going to go right under just right under that right See what that did already? You go outside, just outside, like the width of this, this brush, which is dinky. So just outside the Cupid's bow, right? Then I've got a um, NYX Smoth, which if you kind of want a natural look, just match the inside of your lip, which that's pretty close. And that's, so you can barely really see that. So I'm just gonna go right in between those. It's a line I just made. And on my actual vermilion, that's the line that's around your, it's where your line stops. And, demarcation of the color of your lip and the color of your skin, the border of your lip is called the vermilion line. And I'm just going right there. Now, notice I don't go to the end because as you get older, you don't want that to look, get in the corners and droop down and look, make you look old. I only did it on the top. I know that looks a little crazy, right? <laughs> Wild, right? All right. <clears throat> Don't worry. 
So you're gonna take your finger and you're just gonna soften that up, kind of pull from up to down. So, And from here, go up. I can tell. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and fill that in, the rest of my lips in with that color. And it looks like I wiped it all off, but trust me. Uh, it's subtle. The biggest point is also don't, you know, don't go to the ends on, on here either. Don't, don't touch those. Uh, is that you have a good um, clear or real, like a nice little, um, you can get the kind of glosses that are not sticky or like a Burt's Bees, something that kind of will blur it out. So I'm going to use this type of a uh, Lightheaded kind of a blush. And there you go. <laughs> All right, let's put on some blush. I am going to use powder blush. And this is something I haven't used on the channel yet and this is NARS and what is this called? Dolce Vita and it's um kind of a oh kind of a mm, mauve-ish a little bit so I'm also going to use this kind of a brush Need just a little. Let's see, and I don't want to make a whole bunch of fuss for my eyes, so <clears throat> the naked three. Of a taupe. This is a really flat. I think the lips look really good. Um, that girl is good. It's waterproof. This is by Benefit as well. little highlighter at the cheekbone. I like to pull it up and I don't like a whole bunch, you know, right here where I've got some crow's feet. Don't like a whole bunch right there. Can put a little bit there. 
I like this because it's a really, there's no like glitter. It's like a satin, really. Um, then, uh, hmm. Mine is 3.5, uh, precisely my brow by benefit. I like this really well. I like to pull down my eyebrows first so that the line that I make won't go above my, eye my eyebrow hair. And I lost my tails years ago <laughs> um, from over plucking. I used to have pretty thick eyebrows actually. Okay. Oops. I've got some uh, sparse areas right here. I'm pretty good in here and then I need tails. My eyebrows always look so long to me, but you know, if you measure it out, it's proper. Okay. Well, guess what? <laughs> this is it. This is all I'm doing. Um, I would, I'm sorry. I would like to have some curl uh, enhancer but I I don't so this is gonna be this is gonna be the look uh, you know we're not that far from the beach and that's that's what I'm calling it I'm calling it my beach look <laughs> yeah whatever you know what it's good enough and I think it's kind of cute actually um, my hair if I don't mess with it is curly like this so uh anybody who has naturally curly hair can can my hair was never um, naturally curly until we moved to the actual coast uh gosh 20 years ago more than that all right guys uh, i hope you enjoy the lip look i really think we, uh, we did a good job on that i think they look natural but i think that they look a little bit more pronounced what do you think We'll do it before and after and we'll see what that looks like. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, if you did, come on back and we will see you next time. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.